Today, we're going to learn about the electricity that comes to your home. And um, there it is. <laughs> There's the door. And uh, so the thing is, the electricity that comes from your home originally started where? The ground. Ah, but even before that. The sun. And the sun, that's right, way up here. Uh, anyway, just, just checking. Okay, folks, so yes, this, these black things here under the line are coal in the ground. And that's where we start. That's, where you're, that's what ultimately is going to come into your house. Later on, we're going to take this process further and look at lighting up a light bulb or... or, or uh, running an appliance in your house, but for right now, it's coal in the ground. So, at the beginning, that coal has 100% of the original energy, although, really, if you think about it, compared to the sun, where that energy came from, that there was a lot of energy lost in that process, too. Uh, but, coal is stored sunlight energy, and ultimately, what we're going to go through the process of is seeing all the different things that coal goes through before it arrives at your house, we'll see how much of that energy is left. It's really not that hard, except that it's hard uh, for some people. Oh, and yeah, because yeah. it involves percentages, yeah, for which you will need, hello? Um, oh, you're just talking to people on the hallway, thanks. No, I sent you one off camera and then I said you're back. I'm back! Yeah, great. Um, Every, everything I do now, I picture you guys remixing, and it's like, so not cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, That's going to be a remix. So, here's the thing. The, the first, if you guys look at the total amount of energy that's embodied in this coal, each process is less than 100% efficient. If every process was 100% efficient, then you'd have 100% of the energy by the time it got to the house, but you don't. We end up with 26%. The question is, how do we do that? How does it happen that only 26% of the energy in this coal arrives at your house? First step is the mining. Uh, you, got, you need big machines to mine coal and uh, dig it out of the ground, and this is my awkward symbolization of that, which is this tank tread truck thing with the scoop on it that couldn't possibly work. But anyway, it pulls the coal out of the ground, and right there, right off the top, is uh, it's a 96% efficient process according yeah. to the total. Numbers are off. No, 96, they're not. 96, 97. That's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna understand. They're not. They're <laughs> see there's there's the running there's the running count of the total energy which goes down consistently. And then there's the, the efficiency of each process. So you did pick up on that, but see, mining is 96% efficient, transport 97% efficient, power generation 33. So yeah, um, but all right. So if mining is 96% efficient process and mechanical processes are pretty efficient, mechanical processes are our most efficient processes. The ones where we have to turn heat into electricity are our least efficient, but so, the first calculation is simple. If mining is 96% efficient and we started with 100% of the energy, that means that the energy that's left in the mined coal, the energy that's left as far as the accounting of it, taking accounting for what's taken out in this process, 96%. That's easy. Um, we'll do calculations over here. You're not. That's what I said. Just sort of observe because you guys are going to get to practice this process uh, in some examples I have for you. So 96% of 100, do you know mathematically how you calculate that? Anytime, first of all, anytime you see the word of, what does that mean in a, in a word problem? Close. Close. The other way. Multiply. Multiply. 96% of means 96% times 100. And whenever you see a percentage, how do you put a percentage into a math problem? What do you do? do you, right, I don't just write 96. 96 times 100 would be 9,600. We don't want our number to get bigger. If it's a percentage, that means it's a portion, right? 
a percentage is is like a small part. So 96% would be everything but about maybe that much. And so we we want it to be smaller. So yes, you turn it into a decimal. 0.96 is what you do. You take your percentage, you, you move the decimal over to, and that makes it into a, a mathematical proportion or percentage. And this one's easy, 0.96 or 96%. That one's easy. So we've got 96% of the energy left after we mine the coal. Okay, and then as, as Josh pointed out, the number goes up here. Let me close the door, it's a little loud out there. The transport process on a, on a train, tons and tons of coal moving on the same train, is uh, apparently 97% efficient, I'm told. And so we then, this is where it gets a little more, where we have to pay attention to this mathematically, because the second step, we have 96. We've got 96 units of our original electricity left, and this process is 97% of 96. And so now we have to do another calculation. And so again, we turn 97% into 0.97. We turn of into times. We leave 96. And now we got to do some math. This one's not as easy as the first one. So 0.97 times 96. 93%. Point nine three or ninety three percent. Fascinating, Captain. Okay. So as the so so this is transportation to the power plant. The coal doesn't stop anywhere else on the way to the power plant, it goes right there. Maybe it stops in a coal depot for a while, but anyway, by the time it gets to the plant, ninety three percent. That's ninety three percent of what? Of the original one hundred percent of the energy. So when so these red circles, or uh, these red notations, mostly are the amount of energy left from the original energy in the coal. Okay, and so those are bookkeeping things. But now we get into an actual energy transformation, right? A conversion from one form to another. Energy cannot be destroyed, but it can be trans transferred from one form to another. And in this one, we're generating electricity. Very inefficient. Generating electricity because what are we doing inside there? We're boiling a big vat of water with coal. We're making steam. We're turning a turbine. And we're generating electricity by turning the turbine. And so that process, very inefficient. Because really, you're, it's not the heat. I mean, it is the heat, but it's, 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 you have to transfer the heat into steam, which is really then kinetic energy. So it's, it's uh, so fuel to hot water to steam, which is kinetic. So we're basically talking chemical energy thermal energy to kinetic energy and then to electric. Say what? Try to plagiarize you. I'm already plagiarizing the book, so it's okay. And who could? Who could, do this? Properly cite who could be as just utterly absorbing as this? Um, so okay, folks. But here's the thing. So we've got we've got an inefficient system. Thirty-three percent efficient. So we're going to do thirty-three percent of what of our ninety-three. And so 0 0.33 times ninety-three is one hundred percent gives us thirty-one percent or point three one. So we've got, so as we uh, leave the power plant, we've got 90, or we've got 31% of the original energy left. Most of the energy in that coal is gone. Most of it is spent in already by, by generating electricity. And then the last insult to our, our energy so far, 
by the time we get to the home is that power lines are not 100% efficient. You, you don't think about that. You, we have electricity running through uh, a line. Some of it dissipates. And we're not going to go into the physics of it and why that happens. And, uh, but the longer the power line, the more energy it loses, actually. Um, <coughs> which is why high tension power lines are actually made of aluminum, which is much more conductive than uh, copper that the other that the normal power lines are made out of. But anyway, so it's an 85% efficient process. This is our last conversion, folks, so don't worry. This is it. Any break time? Uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a break after this. I wouldn't want to be seen as being your cruel overlord on film, after all. I'm nice. Uh, that'll be in the remix, too, huh? Uh, <laughs> okay, so now the last thing. We have 85% of, where are we at? 31. And so, uh, 0.85 times... 31 is, I'm going to guess, that's what they say right here, but I just want to do it myself. Wow, they were right. 26%. Uh, <laughs> Never just take their word for it. If you know how to do the calculation, do it yourself and double check on it. But okay, so uh, never minding about our, our beautiful son here. What, in, the tra in the trip from coal in the ground through mining, transport, power plant and power transmission, 26% of that original energy arrives at the house. That's, uh, that's you know, it does, it's not good or bad, really, it's just, it's just the way it works. It's just good to know uh, what happens to all that energy. Okay, because that's energy efficiency. And it also, it does, the one thing to learn from it is that it does mean you want to choose the most efficient ways to do things as you can because the less energy you have here, uh, the more you've lost on the way, the more your energy costs. The more efficient you can make it, the less your energy is going to cost. Okay, so we'll stop there for now, and you guys can turn about Thank you. Thank you very much.